Hey guys, it's Hannah here and today I am back after like six to eight weeks of not posting because I have been bombarded with university, bombarded with work and bombarded with illness. <laughs> I've just not had the time or the physical capacity to film. So I'm getting you a very delayed but very long overdue April update to my hashtag team project pan and since I didn't update in March, this is going to be a long one. Let's get started as I apply my makeup. First product is base primer and that was the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer and this one is done. Finally have an empty. I have quite a few empties this time around. Um, I finished that one off and I'm super excited to have finished it. I love that primer. It's really smoothing and oil controlling on my skin but not super drying. So I've moved on to another oil control primer because when I did it was still hot. Apparently this week the world has decided it's turned into winter and it's gone so cold in the last week the temperatures dropped like six degrees average a day. It's killing me. But here we are. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lock Primer. There's not too much left of this primer. I think I'll probably have a month or two left of this and then this will be gone as well and I'll be making my way through some more primers that I have. Not that I have many primers left in my stash. But I like this primer, but I prefer the Too Faced. Simple and sweet. Foundation I've had the most success on because it is a product I use every day and use religiously every time I wear makeup. This is the L'Oreal, L'Oreal, Lancome Tonte Adol Stick Foundation. This is all that I have left. There is a baby nub. Once it is flat, I will officially stop counting it as a foundation and it will become a concealer and I will dig out the bottom as a concealer but it will no longer count in this project. This is the progress that I have made. The black line is where I am now. This is where I was last month. I'm very excited last month. Two months ago, I'm very excited with this progress. Concealer though, I use just as regularly as I use foundation, but apparently my concealer's grow. So I have the two Tarte Shape Tape concealers that I've been working through. Wow, words. This is where I was last time, and apparently this is where I am now. I don't understand how I've only used that much product in light sand. Fair neutral is even funnier. This is where I marked the last time, and this is where my mark is now. There is visi like physically I can feel there is less product in light neutral than in fair neutral than light sand. These products are a mess. I will not be popping the stoppers out because they're already a mess as is. I do not want them to be even messier. So whenever they just stop working, they stop working. I don't know. Honestly, these are confusing me. But I'm going to keep using them. Powder. There is so little powder left in here. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I'm going to introduce you to my replacement of this because... 100% this is going to be gone in like the next three days. There is so little powder. It is literally thinnest, not even a full layer right on the bottom. This is nearly a blot. I couldn't even mark it because there's nothing you can physically see. It will not physically become a flat layer at the bottom. It's literally missing chunks in places. So the powder I will be replacing it with is a very full, very full, cannot physically see where it stops, Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This is going to be probably a lot, take a lot longer for me to go through than the Maybelline. Purely because I will not be baking my whole face as I will not be using this anymore. So I'm excited to get this out because I actually have a back of this, of this powder. So that is why it is the one I'm working on next. Moving in how I move across my face. Two brows. No, let's do cheeks. Let's do cheeks. Okay. Physicians Formula Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. This Physicians Formula. Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. This is where I was last month. last time and this is where I am now. I finally have pan. 
There is very thin pen left in this product. I want this bronzer gone so badly. There is, yeah, barely anything left. It will be gone very soon, but it's still going. Still going. So regularly I use this product. The product that has not seen so much love over the last two months is my MAC Say Me Hear Me Blush. This is where I was last month. And this is where I am now. I don't think there's any visible difference, but I'm still going to keep working through it because I can. And I still love it, but I am definitely not using it as consistently as I did the first two months. Highlighter is the product that is the most neglected product in this project. Besides the product I just put in my hot water because I forgot that it was even here. It was my MAC strobe cream in pink light and I have not used it once. So I've decided I'm just going to swap it. You were able to swap it at the March update. I didn't do one, so I'm going to swap it now. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter in the shade Pearl. This is a creamy product, like, but not creamy in a way that it disrupts your makeup. This is very much similar to a Colourpop Super Shock product. So I'm going to be working on this and see what I can do. Hopefully hit pan and then I'll move on to something else. Maybe. Who knows. I'm really bad at highlight using highlighters up. Brows. The Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Defining Pencil in Blonde. I did get some good, no, I did not get good progress on this. I don't know what happened, because I use this all the time, but it's still, like it's still going. And um, like, it, like it's got that much product left. But when you see how, like, little progress I make on this, like, in four months, I've made that much progress. It's gonna take me the whole year to use up this brow pencil. I don't understand. I don't understand. Do not understand. Eye base. The MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. This is where I was last month. I'm pretty sure I do, meant to do our brows next, but hey. This is where I was last time. And this is where I am now. Oh my goodness, this will be done so soon. I'm literally using a Concealer brush and getting those last little remnants around the side. If this is not done by the end of this month, I'm going to cry. In saying that, this is probably not going to be done by the end of this month. This is probably going to go till the end of June. But that is okay. Because it is nearly done. Nearly done. Finally. For eyeshadow product, I use a cream eyeshadow. And the one I was using is the Stila Glitter and Glow. Liquid eyeshadow. Why does this say glitter and glow? This is a shimmer and glow, not a glitter and glow. Is it? Or is it a glitter and glow? This is a shimmer and glow. Why does it say glitter and glow on it? Honestly, this is a shimmer and glowing kitten. I don't know why the packaging says glitter and glow. This is a shimmer and glowing kitten. It is a cream eyeshadow in a champagne color. As I said, I do not pull stoppers out, but you can see that it is all gone. There is nothing coming out on this one. This one is done. And that is the third Steeler Mini that I've gotten out of my collection. Fourth? Third. Third or fourth Steeler Mini that I've gotten out of my collection in the last six months. Super excited. To replace that, I'm not picking a Steeler product. I'm picking a Cover FX Shimmer Veil in Celestial. It looks brand new because it pretty much is. And even when I put it in hot water, it doesn't sink down. So... That's how much product's in here. So we're gonna work on that one all together. Eyeliners. The product I've not used at all in the last two months is the Marc Jacobs Earthquake Eyeliner. 100% forgot that I had this in this project. I have not used this once in the last two months. There is no progress whatsoever. There is so little product left. 100% if I had used this Half a dozen times each month, this would probably be gone. That is how little product is left. But no, I didn't do that, did I? 
Nope, I completely forgot. I used my Fenty Fly Liner, liquid eyeliner in this project, twice. <laughs> I've not been wearing eyeliner at all. I don't wear it teeny, I don't wear it to work. It's just too much. So they've been slowly neglected, but I need to remember to use it. Oh, mascara. Mascara. The L'Oreal Voluminous Original in Burgundy. I loved this mascara. These are my lower lashes. All, my, all for the first three months of this project. But, I do not keep mascaras for longer than three months, so I threw this out. Because I do not keep mascaras for more than three months, I realise that putting a mascara in this project is really boring. Because it's literally going to be whatever mascara I have open, which is currently the Lancome Montreal Big. But I don't weigh this, I just literally use it till it's gone. So I'm not going to keep tracking these because I feel like that's boring for you guys. Let me know if it's not, but I feel like it is. Lips. Lip balm. I feel like I'm doing this completely out of order, but hey. The Fresh Sugar Petal Lip Balm. This is how much I have left. But as you guys know, this stuff takes me forever, so that'll probably still take me quite months. I love this stuff so much. I use it every time I put makeup on. To hydrate my lips, here I was last time, here I am now, as I said, about three, nope, four months progress. Four months it'll take me to finish that one up, I say, because that's how many months I've had to use it. And I still have only made that much progress. No, wait, I started this project at the end of January. Three months, three months, three months. Lip liner. The MAC Dervish Pencil, this is how much I have left, and it will still probably take me the whole year to finish this. This is my marks for Dervish. As you can see, I've been using quite a bit, but again, in the last two months, not so much. Why? Why? How have I used less in two months than I did in the first 28 day month? Do not ask me. What has happened here? Lipsticks again. These things have lived in my purse. And then I've been trying to apply them. But I knew when I put these in here that these were going to take me the whole year to use. So we have Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and Marc Jacobs Slow Burn. And the progress looks about the same. Well, no, I've used a little bit more of... So this is Pillow Talk and this is Slow Burn. Yeah, so I've used more of Pillow Talk because it's been warmer, but now we're getting cooler, so I'll probably use more of slow burn. Again, it's gonna take me all year to finish these ones up. Simple as that. Then for liquid lipstick, I still don't think I have, nope, no visible progress on the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in number four, which I'm pretty sure is T-Rose. I use it every once in a while. As I said, it's just gonna be in here, see what happens, see if I get through it. And then the last, no, second last. Totally forgot this was in my project pen. See, this is what happens. I knew it was in my project pen because I've been wearing it all the time. But again, making no progress on it because that's a thing. Um, last for the face is the <laughs> Milani Makeup Last Setting Spray. This one I put in last time and now it's gone. Well, no, I started with it. That's how much I got through in the first month. That took me about a month to get through. So now we're moving on to my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And I've realised I don't quite know how I'm going to measure this. So, I will figure that out and get back to you. Probably in weights. Probably in weights. Yeah, let's do that. So I'll be weighing that. And then, the last thing. How do my products grow overnight? The... Victor Amel Flower Bomb Fragrance. This is where I was last month. And now you can't see it. This is where I am now. I've used probably about this much. Again, I use more in the 28 day one month than in the two months. I don't know when I'm going to get this finished, honestly. I don't know. What can you do? So that has been my update for my hashtag team project pan for April. If you guys are doing this, let me know, or any project pen, let me know how you're going in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And click subscribe to stay tuned for more. I did bulk film today, so there is a couple more videos coming for you guys. I will see you guys in my next video. Love you all.